Hello guys, as I said, I will be testing this after I'm finished with the building. I have done a lot of testing, but I will be posting those later. You can see the core inside. You can see the gear settings I did here. And here I connected it to a bridge rectifier diode. It's a capacitor. I used a bulk converter to break the voltage 12 and whatsoever, but the bulk converter just died. The amps was too high. So I overloaded the bulk converter. You can see the bulk converter is now dead. So I'm going to buy a new one. So let me just do a quick test. You can see this is 35 watts. Wait, let me see. You can see this is a 35 watt bulb. Look at it here. 12 volts, 35 watts. So I'll be testing it quickly. So I go buy a new converter. You can see how powerful this device is and a very efficient fuel efficient system. Look. You can see the neodymium magnet inside. You can see how you, how you like this bulb. I'm going to be testing to this 150 watts. 12 volts. You can see 150 watts bulb. Let's see if you can also run it too. Be calculating the amps. You can see, let's test it again. See, I see. It was like there's no load on it. bright it is 150 watts you can see how efficient this little generator is you can see you just i just with a little modification i turned this useless brushless motor into a useful powerful generator this generator you see here can also be used as a wind turbine because it's because of its efficiency you can connect a gas set just like this with a rotary blade here and the moment the wind turns it with just lower rpm like this it produce 18 volts with lower rpm yes so i use the bulk converter to convert the 18 volts to 12 to all 15 volts to charge a battery or work other devices let me test it again one more time you can see I'll be doing another video where I will be configuring this motor also into an AC 220 volt system also high wattage and a, another type of one also because this one is 18 volts but I use it for 15 volts for battery charging to power an inverter you can use the device to power an inverter which load instead of connecting it directly to your battery reduces the amount of amps drawn from the battery instead it will be drawn from this motor and the motor is very efficient I'll be making another one though so when i'm done with that i will make a video of the types i did with these coils i'll show you the coils i'm going to be using i'm going to be using this size of coils this one you can see here i'll be using this to create the high voltage on this is the size of the coil that's inside here 
going to get 24 volts or more while this other size can give you up to 48 volts or more each this can handle more than 12 amps or more it can handle more than 6 to 10 amps i don't know because i haven't used this coil before but i'm going to use it to make a video for you guys to see why like this this is very realistic this is the, the same coil i use in this generator here in this generator here this is a 250 volts 500 watts generator you can see i did it in a previous video which i posted and there's also more to be done i'm going to be creating something like this inside this is what i will be placing i'll be creating this thing you can see there's a bearings here we'll be connecting it here you can see this it's also a neodymium magnet you'll be spinning between this generator and you'll be giving a very you will be producing very efficient power it's a very powerful generator it's a very useful device so i'll be posting that in the next video so now you guys have seen how powerful this device is just as i said and it's very very efficient 12 pole magnet 12 stator let me test it one more time see you in the next video guys guys right, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel because i found out that many of you are just watching the video and not subscribing to my channel please try your best to subscribe because it motivates me and keeps me going thank you guys have a nice day.